Francis. Normalmore's defenses have fallen apart. Instead of throwing ourselves on their mercy, we can just take over. Back to plan A. Lord Bayron, what business do you have in the kingdom of Novelmore? We demand an audience with King John. King John, what a vacation. Oh, good for him. We demand an audience with Prince Arwen. Enemies of Novelmore don't get to make demands. Go on, then. Uh, do I have to? Was I the one who brought a usurper into our midst? Was that me? Because I don't think it was me. We surrender. I couldn't hear you. Speak up! We surrender. Hi, Brody. Oh. Hello, Gwen. Ugh. And then the prince, with words he did not mince, sent Brody on his way, packing. For mercy, he was not lacking. Hang on. Instead of Brody, could you just say the raider? Mm, sounds more... Dangerous? Exactly. Now let's make it a duet. And then the prince, with words he did not mince, sent the raider on his way. Arwen, the raider's on! <laughs> What's the meaning of this? The raiders are requesting refuge. In Novelmore? Prince Arwen, I know we've had our differences. Differences? You and your raiders attacked my kingdom, and your son refers to me as his mortal enemy. Although he's not mine, just to be clear. I've been run out of the Crimson Cold Era. All I've got left are these two lackeys. Ahem. <clears throat> Brave, loyal lackeys. Um. And my son. Run out of the Crimson Caldera? How did that happen? It was a mutiny. Over ignore. Over an ignoramus who's taken over. It's a long story I won't bore you. What's important is that we're here now, crown in hand, throwing ourselves at your mercy. Gwyn, a moment. Gwyn? Of course. The Raiders are here in Novelmore! They want to live here! Do I let them? I don't trust them. Neither do I, but they've got nowhere else to go. <sighs> I wish my father were here. He'd know what to do. <laughs> Brody, you may recall that I said I might not be so nice the next time I saw you. But what kind of ruler would I be if I did not accept my enemy's surrender? On one condition, you must all pledge your loyalty to us. For Novelmore! For Novelmore. Gwyn! Please welcome our new citizens and get them acclimated to the kingdom. I'm the head of Novel Force, not a babysitter. Could have fooled me. Just because Prince Arwen is nice doesn't mean I am. Fine. Have Dario show them around. You're just letting them have free reign of the kingdom? Yes, because I know that you will be following them. Oh. Okay then. Lynette, shall we pick up where we left off? <laughs> Ooh, it says there's supposed to be a fantastic vista right up here. Right, so uh, that was the castle. Uh, we're coming up on the tavern over here. Do you have any lava lakes? No. Fire fountains? Nope. What about a pit of woe? Lucifix loves the pit of woe. No, no pit of woe. But Lucifix could make a pit of woe. I think we're good. Pyralia, Lucifix, be polite. Be polite? Father, who are you? Someone who's making the best of a bad situation. So you're just giving up? The Burnhams are just going to live in this very not-on-fire kingdom? We're just biding our time until I can figure out a way to take back the Crimson Caldera. That's why you didn't tell Arwen about the Ignolium. Never show all your cards, son. Work, Raiders! Yes, excellent work, 
graders. Kaboom! Must you make so much noise? So we're rebuilding the lava cannon? That's the problem with you raiders. You think small. Retracing the same boring steps. No imagination, no vision. I'm thinking of something bigger, grander, much more impressive, and much more dangerous. So, something with a little more spark? Ugh. Just here. Where did they go? Looking for us. You do not need to spy on Lucifer. We're not spying on you. Oh, I know you're not following us. You're just supposed to. Technically, she's right. Such a leader. You, novel force. Me, not impressed. You could never do my job. <laughs> Bet I could. <laughs> no. This is between me and you. Good. The novel force is about fighting. But it's more than that. I hope so. Because you're not too great at it. Force is about honor. It's about duty. It's about friendship. Oh! Raiders value guile. We value cunning. We value deceit. There's only one problem. Huh? You're not a raider anymore. You fall. I'm not like you. That's right. You're not. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I can't resist. <laughs> Lucifer thinks that was awesome. You know, you might be good enough to be one of us on the Novel Force. I've never been part of an us before. On a trial basis, because, well, I don't trust you, <laughs> but I want to. It's weird, but I kind of want that too. Ooh, can you teach me how to make a fire ghost? They're super cute. It sort of involves venturing into the heart of a fire dragon, but don't worry, I'll make enough for both of us. Wait! Lucifer wants to be part of Novel Force. We're kind of done with tryouts for the day. He's good. I'll think about it. Lucifer likes working with powerful women. <laughs> I said I'll think about it. It has to be here. Where is it? Hopefully he didn't clean. Yes! Brody? Is that you? No. You're looking for the Invincibus. Why do you think I'm looking for the Invincibus? Because that's what you're always looking for. And you told Arwen that I had it. Where is the Invincibus, Dario? That waters my plants. <laughs> and it's broken. But it doesn't matter. I'm missing the anger crystal. So unless it shows up, the Invincibus is just a pile of scrap. Are we done? Because I'm late for Pickle Jack. You should come. You're inviting me to your game night? It'll be fun. Have you ever had fun? Never mind. I'll explain what fun is on the way. I'm so glad I could convince Lieutenant Biggles to join us. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, Lieutenant Biggles. Three, please. Dario! Brody of Burnham! Come, join us! Coming! Brody? Are you coming? No. Picklejack isn't my game. Hmm. Weapon is almost ready, Lord Spark. Excellent. Rocket. It can do.
destroy anything in its path, and it will. We're going to destroy the Five Realms? <laughs> Once again, you raiders get everything wrong. It's not about destruction. It's about control. All we need to do is use the Ignolium rocket once. When the kingdoms witness its destructive power, they'll surrender without so much as a peep. So who's our first target? Novel Moore.